Well, hello everyone, and today we are going to see how to locate features, uh, locate features along your route in QGIS. Uh, let's say I have you know set up a few things. We just have a basic line. Let's say it's following this road. It's not very accurate, but that's not a major concern right now. And we have some points, uh, a points of interest. Let's say it could be anything, you know, some some place that you want to visit or. Um, Places where petrol pumps are going to work, it could be anything. Uh, they, they just have points of interest, uh, nothing major. So, what I want to know is at exactly what length uh, this, this point is located uh, along my route. I'll just switch off this satellite image. Nice. So, how, how am I going to do that? In ArcGIS, there is a very basic, uh, very, very basic tool, uh, locate feature along route. It's, it's quite lovely and in QGIS also it's actually quite simple but I haven't seen a lot of documentation about it actually. So we're going to use this uh, plugin LRS to download it simply go to plugin manage and install your plugins you can search for LRS and this is it. Once you install it it'll automatically come here in this site uh, let's say if you closed it somehow you can simply add it by going to vector, LRS, LRS, and it's back here. So the very first thing we would need to do is, uh, we would need to convert this line into a root. For that, I, I need to calibrate, I need to tell QGS that uh, the start is here, the end is here, and this is what its length is. For that, we need to calibrate it. And to calibrate it, I need a start and end points. So I, I could you know create a new layer and uh, sorry I can create a new layer and add those starter endpoints but the easier way to do this is I simply use my QChain image. It's another plugin simply go to plugins again manage and install and search for QChain image. Simply click on it. Uh, my selected line is my selected layer is line. Okay, chain image. I don't want that every one meter. I only want my first and last point. It's zero. Uh, it also chain layer. Okay. So my two points are created. Let's just get them a little bit bigger. Okay. So these two points are the ones I'm going to use to calibrate my line. And if you open it. Open its attribute table. You also see that there is a uh, there's a distance uh, of uh, for these points along these routes. So the first point is at zero meters. Second is at what nine thousand nine zero five meters. Uh, I'll I will edit one thing here. I'll just start editing and I will create new field. I'll just name it root. Type text. 20 and OK. I'll just add root A here. I'll show you why. Root A here again. I'm going to save it. It didn't happen. Root A. Save it again. And it's done. So let's look at uh, the attribute table of our line. Very basic the ID and the root I've specified as that uh, specified it as root a. Let's see our points. Our points have an ID, the name of the place is just a b c d, and also the root, the root along which I want to find its distance. That is what it is. So all my things are in place. Let's start with calibration. In the LRS, we will go to calibration. What are we going to calibrate? We're going to calibrate my line. So I will create, uh, select line here. The line root field, wherever you you know, you, you know you you have your common field. So I have root a in root, <coughs> sorry. And in this chain line, I have root a at root. Okay. So the point layer that I'm going to use to calibrate it is uh, my chain line. Is in root the measure field. The measurement data here is in. CNG meters. So I will remove this FID and I'm going to select CNG meters. The measure unit is meter. 
So if there are any error errors, let's just check if we get any errors. No, we do not have any errors. Uh, you can give it a name. We, let, let's keep it as LRS only. We will create it. So you can see a new new line has been formed here. If, if you switch it off. Okay. And this line, let's see what's in this attribute table. You have an m value here. M from and an m to it's just the uh, it's just its distance value actually. It's, uh, it's its length value. So we have this thing. Now what I need to do is I need to locate exactly at what distance these points are falling from this line. I will go to my measure. First we will calibrate, then we will measure. The layer with measures is my LRS. And the root field is root. Again, this field would be root A is in this one. And a similar, uh, you know, something with which we can compare those two. So root A is written at here this root. Name them anything, uh, it's not necessary that the field name should be similar, but what the field values are, they should be similar. So the layer I'm going to use is points. The root field is uh, is root. Maximum point distance. Now, uh, a lot of times, uh, let's say that this point is it's approximately at uh, 950 meters. So it would just have maximum point distance, just uh, the offset at how how far it is going to calculate. I'm just going to keep it as say 3000. Okay. Okay. My OK is. Somehow not on. Let's see. Let's change this. Let's change this. Okay, now it's now it's back working. It happens sometimes. Click on OK, and you should have a new layer here with LRS measure. If you would open it, what does it show? It shows your ID. It shows the place. Uh, the root A root. This this root. One root would be from your. Uh, the LRS layer and one is your original point layer and the measure. Now let's just have a very, very rough check about it. Show me the measure. Okay, we can have a rough idea. So this is that. Yeah. So uh, the perpendicular distance of this point to this line. Okay. Happy. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's perpendicular line would be from here. Well, I'm, I'm going to trust QJS on this. Uh, this point would give us the best bet would be from here to. Okay, pretty good. So this is how you can identify at what distance all of your points lie. Uh, it's just you know 20 or 25 points here. Uh, a lot of times you may have uh, hundreds of points. It's it's a very neat feature and it's actually quite useful, especially in the pipelines and highway industries. Uh, hope you found it helpful. Thank you.